Hello and welcome to another Spark AR tutorial video. In this video we'll be looking at how to create this very simple pixel head effect where the eyes kind of scale depending on how open my eyes are and my mouth also does the same. And we'll just be using the pixelate shader and the adjust color shader to achieve this result. So I'm just going to start with a new project like so. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a rectangle. We're going to make this rectangle fit our width and the height. And we're going to create a new material for this just by hitting the materials and the little plus button. So with that created, I can now go to my material. And I'm going to want to make the texture be our camera feed. So I'm going to select my camera in my scene, hit texture extraction and segmentation, go back to my material, set my texture to be my camera texture and my alpha, I'm going to enable that and choose that to be my person segmentation mask. So now you should have the person cut out from the background. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the AR library and I'm just going to search for the pixelate patch which is a batch patch uh, that's been created and import that into my project and whilst I'm here I'm also going to import my color adjuster so we're going to use the adjust colors batch patch and import that into my project as well there we go so now we have these two imported, I can go to view, show my patch editor, drag my pixelate shader into my patch editor, and I'm also going to just drag in my adjust color shader in as well. I'm just going to link my adjust color shader to the input on my pixelate shader, and I'm going to drag the, select the camera, and I'm just going to drag my camera into my patch editor as well, and link my camera to the device screen output. Oops, sorry, not the camera, I want the device. To drag my device into a patch editor and link the screen scale to the de device screen size. The screen size to screen size. There we go, so it should adjust depending on what our device's screen is. I'm going to drag my camera texture into my patch editor and link its RGBA to the input on the texture and the color shader. And then I'm going to select my material, select the arrow next to texture, and link this to my pixelate shader. So now if we take a look at the preview window, we should see that the person is now pixelated. And we can adjust the value of this by going down to the pixelate shader amount. And let's say I wanted a 64-bit or 32-bit or even 8-bit. I can just type in the value down here. I'm just going to go for about 32 just so we can see what's going on a bit easier. And because we've got this link to our adjust shader color patch, we can just, for example, type in a negative value here in our saturation, and we should be able to make this go black and white. We could also adjust the hue, contrast, or brightness in the same manner. So what I did next is I actually then went to my add object and added a face tracker so I can track the facial details. So I can use this to overlay my planes. I then simply added a plane to my face tracker. And to make my life easier, and because I'm using a new-ish version of Spark AR, I can go to actions, position on face, and I'm just gonna select the left eyeball. Now you'll notice that at the moment this eyeball is clipping. So that's because we haven't got a material that's set to have ignoring a depth mask on it. So I need to select that plane, click the plus on materials to create a new material, select this newly created material, go to advanced render options and turn off use depth test and white to depth buffer. I'm also uh, going to duplicate this plane and then on this duplicate I'm then going to select its position into my patch editor and link it to the right center eye position. So I should have two eyes like so. Now at the moment, these are both 
two less big, so I'm just going to scale these down to about half of their current size on all the value axes. 0 0.5, there we go, and I'm going to do the same with the other plane. And because I've already duplicated it, it should carry across the values that I have assigned. There we go. So now we have our two eyes simply in there. What I did to adjust their scale is I used the left openness from the eyelid, and just clicked and dragged, and I used a transition patch, and I then linked that to the scale on that eye. So, for example, my left eye, I link that to the left scale. So it'll go between zero and the three values I predefined. So in this case, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. I can then copy this transition and duplicate it. And link this one, second one, to the right openness. And then select my other plane. Go to its scale and link that in like so. So now both eyes will adjust depending on how open the user's eye is. Giving this this kind of weird emoji slash text style um, facial features. I did the same with the mouth, I just added another plane. And this one I basically attached to the chin, so I went from the face tracker dragged from the face and added chin and then changed the tip position to have a subtract I chose the subtract to be a vector free and with this plane I just hooked up its scale to this subtract to readjust its position. So, oh, I didn't want to use a scale, I just wanted to use position on that side, ignore me. That was uh, getting ahead of myself. There we go. So now it should be positioned how I want it to, and if I wanted to adjust this even further, I could just go to type in something like negative 0.5, and it would then bring it up. And because this material, I saw hasn't got a material assigned, I'm just gonna again assign it a material that's already got the depth test on. I'm going to also now adjust its scale, so I'm going to adjust its scale on the X, Y and Z until I have it wider and I do long, so I have this kind of long rectangle with two eyes. And if I wanted this to also be animated, depending on the facial expression, again I can just go from my face tracker, go to expression like smile, Again, add another transition. I'll link this to the progress rather than the. Oh. Uh, let's, uh, actually, let's not do that. Let's link it to mouth openness. Mouth open. Mouth openness. Transition. And then link this to the scale. And I'm just going to change my end values to be what I've set originally. So 1, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, link this up like so. So now when the mouth is open, it should scale accordingly. Uh, but what I actually want to do is I'm going to keep the starting values as the values I've previously set um, and just increase the amount and the end to be slightly higher than what it starts off as. There we go. So this is, like I said, this is a super simple effect. It's not exactly um, groundbreaking in the slightest, um, but we could do a lot more with this. We could then start creating animation frames. So we could use the animation sequence technique to have these um, change expression depending on whether the user is smiling. It can check progress the frame to a frame that has a smile image on, uh, or image shape rather. Um, I've kept these as standard shader types of moments, hence you can see a bit of reflection going on. Let me just swap to camera for a second. Um, but I could have kept these as flat. I could also adjust these colours, I could apply textures to them, etc, etc. And I can always go back down into my patch editor to adjust how much it's pixelated and the colour values. 
So this has just been a quick bonus Spark AR tutorial video on how to achieve a very simple effect for those who may not know how to pixelate uh, using Spark AR Studio. Thank you for watching, remember to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you again soon.